Hi guys, Jack from 5 Star Freestyles here, and today we're going to be testing and reviewing the Nike Hyper Venom Phantom 1. Enjoy the video. Let's start with the comfort fit and sizing of the boot. The Nike Hyper Venom Phantom has a slim fit in the midfoot here, which helps to give you a really nice snug feeling. Wide footed players should have no issues fitting into the boot as it stretches a lot and molds the shape of your foot. The Hyper Venoms take around 3 to 4 hours playing time to break in the boots. I had no problems once I broke them in, but during the testing period, I suffered with blisters and pressure marks here. Yeah. I would recommend going half size down or two size, depending on how tight you like your boots. <laughs> this model of the Phantom boasts a sleek design that will appeal to most players. It's predominantly black on the inserts, uh, with Nike ticks that are coloured vol and blue inserts. <laughs> In terms of the touch and feel for the ball, this is the best boot on the market in my opinion. The upper is made from Nike's first generation Nike skin, which wraps all the way around the upper, which helps to give you a nice consistent rough and feel on the ball. The Phantom has an off-central lace system, which also helps to give you a cleaner striking zone. The Nike Hyper Venom Phantom does lack in protection though, so if you're the sort of player that goes in for big challenges or is afraid of getting stood on, this probably isn't the boot for you. I had no problems with durability whilst testing the boots for 3 or 4 hours. However, there has been reported issues of the Phantom splitting here and ripping on the upper. The Phantom is also equipped with Nike's ACC technology, which helps to give you a consistent ball feel in both wet and dry conditions, and I found it to work very effectively. The Venom stud configuration consists of four conical studs at the back, six at the front, with two T-flight push-off studs. The conical studs on the boot is designed to help you move quickly and change direction without losing any speed. The traction on the boot was okay, I had no issues with it, but I did find that there was quite some stud pressure around here while playing on firm ground surfaces. <laughs> The Phantom originally retailed for around 180 British pounds, but due to the release of the Hyper Venom Phantom 2, you can pick them up for a much more affordable price. <laughs> so that concludes the review for the Nike Hyper Venom Phantom 1. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more weekly uploads, and don't forget to check out footballboots.co.uk in the description below. See you in our next video.